Somebody call the law, somebody call the law It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong What up though, Heist Man the Foe Talk That Talk Ghetto News and Opinions, man I don't know about y'all, but I'm hype, man I'm hype about this shootout I'm talking about the Gill shootout, man Presented by Underdog Fantasy Whoop, whoop, y'all know what I'm talking about, man It all stemmed from a podcast Gilbert Arena's podcast, man. Y'all check that out. It's on his channel, Gills Arena podcast on YouTube, man. He got a dope crew. They talk about basketball. I'm talking about his um the host Josiah Johnson. What's my man name? Gilbert Arenas. He the um the leader, I guess if you want to put it that way. It's whatever. The main host, um Rashad McCants, K Mark, Kenya Martin. You know, Brandon Jennings. They got a dope crew, man. They also got um what's my girl name? Lexi Brown. Um, if y'all know who she is, man, she playing the WNBA, but her daddy invented the dab also, or the version of it in basketball when he did that dab dunk. D Brown, I'm, I'm that old, man. I remember that. Y'all, y'all see that he dabbing, but yo, um, he had them dope shoes too, man. Look at them, yo. They didn't bring them back. And since we talking about fathers, man, we might as well talk about Josiah daddy also. His daddy named Marcus Johnson, man. Played in the NBA for a long time with the Clippers. I think he did time with the Bucks. You know, he did his thing. A lot of y'all, he, y'all might know him, though, from playing Raymond. And white man can't jump. You know, go to my car, get my other gun, shoot everybody ass. That's a dope movie, man. That's a dope character, too. That Raymond character, did it, did it really come from? Like, if y'all know the backstory of that Raymond character, man. We ain't talking about that right now. We talking about this shootout, yo. Let me get back to that. Hold on, where my button at? Back to the shootout. 100K is going down this Saturday. And it all stemmed from Gilbert Arenas and Rashad McCants, man. Rashad McCants, they got into like a little shootout or something at a slam ball tournament in um, Las Vegas. And Rashad McCants won 10 to 1. And yo, ever since then, it's been beef, man. I'm talking about it's been like Hatfield McCoy's type beef. Biggie and Pac type beef. I'm talking about Gargamel and the Smurfs type beef. Yo, it's been it, it's been kind of you know, ever since he beat him, yo, it's been going crazy, man. You been seeing Gilbert Arenas, he be looking at McCann's like, yo, it's a lot of heat coming off that couch, dog. And yo, McCann's be sitting there, you know, looking like this. You gonna get yours beat? You gonna get yours beat? I say that man because um, Gilbert he be antagonizing him, man, basically. He be antagonizing that dude, man. Showing him getting up his shots and stuff. Going to the gym late at night. Doing all that, yo. I'm talking about, yo. And Gilbert, he taking it serious. He trying to win. It's like, an, it's like a real beef going on between them two right now, man. You can see it. It's coming out. It's coming out on camera, man. Um, It seemed like... I don't, I don't think McCann's going to be that much longer, man. I don't think he's going to be that, man. It's, start, it's, starting to wear, it's starting to wear on him, man. Like, he, he said they're fighting about any and everything, it looked like, to me. Um, It, is on, it don't look right. It's, it's a bad aesthetic, yo. It seemed like he just, he nitpicking. And I don't know, man. Sometimes I be watching the episodes, I'll be like, yo, he going to cry in the car. And Michelle, I can't see me getting up looking like this. Like, he finna just run off the, off the set, man. When he be in there, yo. I'm telling you, it, it don't look right. He, he got to argue about something all the time, man. And I... I now that I think about it, man, I just feel like he 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 lacking something. He missing something. I ain't no psychologist or nothing like that. Psychiatrist. Well, how you want to say psychologically? I'm messing up. I got big teeth. Um, y'all know what I mean, though. I think he going through something, man. It seems like he doing the less or doing the least out of all of them, out of all the people on the cast and stuff. Like, you know, Gil, you know, he got everything going on with this show. He do... Um, no chill gear. He on nightcap with Shannon Sharp and what's my man name? Ocho Cinco. So yo, he doing he's still doing stuff. And I don't see McCann's doing much, man. Um K Mark, he got a whole son in the NBA. He got that going for him on top of what he ever he got going on. You don't say too much about K Mark. You might, might punch yourself on him. Um Josiah, he worked like a damn Jamaican. He got like a thousand jobs, yo. Don't let that man sleep on you. I mean, don't sleep on that man, yeah, because um, he be doing shit too, yeah. Really, he a writer and all that stuff. So, and he just overall dope. I like Josiah. Um, what's her name? Lexi. She about to go back to the WNBA. I think her season about to start. So you know she got something going on. What's my name? Brandon Jennings. He um got tough crowd. He working with um Steph Curry. 
Like, come on, man. So he doing stuff. I don't think nothing but Rashad McCants. He ain't doing nothing but <laughs> he got the <laughs> he got the Air McCants, man. He got the Air McCants. I think he got a um YouTube show coming out called The Workshop. I ain't seen it yet. Um, I think he got a calendar or something with the work. I don't know, man. He's oh no. He played for the Tar Heels, so he don't really get that much love from me. I don't know what he been doing no way, but I'm just saying it just seemed like Rashad McCants, see he, he, he not that he falling off, it just seemed like he getting to him, like Gil is getting to him with all this stuff, yo. It just seemed like Rashad, I mean Gil, he's shooting every day. He at the gym shooting, showing it to him. He antagonizing that man, yo. He can't fight back. Um, it's just funny, man. It's funny watching it, but as I'm looking at it. I'm just, I, don't, I don't think um, my man's never going to be there t- that much longer, yeah. to tell you the truth. He just look like he ready to go. I think he been um, playing too many away games. I think I seen him on a, other, a couple other podcasts. I don't know if he tried to get shit popping elsewhere. I, I don't know if he, he was serious about it. Like, you need somebody there to keep the fights going and keep something going and stuff, but it doesn't seem like McCants really want to be there no more. It seems like he there like, like he obligated and it feel like Gil is lighting his ass up. He Gil know he got somebody that he could sink his teeth into and he just getting them, man. I'm talking about I don't know, man. That's that's a person you don't want to beef with. Somebody petty like that. Cause they, they that's all they got to do is be petty. He having fun too, man. You see Gil having fun with it. And McKenzie's is looking sick. He looks sad. Hold on, where he at? I said he gonna run he gonna cry in the car. Look. <laughs> They had to make them pictures, man. That was kind of funny to me. You gonna get yours, B. You gonna get yours. I don't know, man, but I'm just ready to see this um, shootout tomorrow. Um, it's a lot. It's gonna be some people there, man. I think um, what's my man named Cameron? He gonna be there. He showing up. I think he gonna. Be, I think he with Fantasy Underdog. Underdog Fantasy. I'm sorry. They don't pay me, so I don't know them. They names like that. Boop boop. Maybe they will one day. Nah, but for real. I think Cameron pulling up. He gonna be in there because he was underdog fantasy. It kind of helped the brand of underdog. They doing pickums and all that stuff too. Um, it's gonna be other people there. Some um, what do you call them? Influencers. I think they got the dude from the Guinness Book of World Records gonna be shooting. Like man, this up for a hundred thousand dollars, and it seemed like McCann ain't McCann's ain't even in it no more. Man, it all stemmed from him. He wasn't bragging so much about winning ten to one. And now it's getting close to it. What you call it? Just putting up shots every day. I'm talking about this nigga going to the gym every night, going live. Crazy times. It'd be like 317 live. Get with the shooting. And calling out McCann's name the whole time. <laughs> shooting. He antagonizing that man. He didn't tag a nigga. That's funny, man. And McCann's, he just, I ain't put up no shots. I ain't got to. I'm. <laughs> He he moping, he moping on camera, man. And it's funny, it's like you can't get your shit together, dog. I don't know. It's it's funny to me. I'm liking it. I'm looking at it. I'm seeing the writing on the wall. I don't think McCann's gonna be that much longer because he look like he like a crybaby. That's just me personally, man. As I see it, as I'm looking at it, I'm watching it. I'm looking. I'm looking like yo. He ain't gonna be that much longer, man. He getting picked. It ain't even he getting picked on and bullied. You you gotta be a man, yo. Stand up for yourself. You can't do nothing though, man. You the you the you the weak link, man. You on the low man on the totem pole. You play for Carolina, so I don't really. I'm a Duke fan. That's all I got, man. I'm I, damn it, hit my leg hard. Shit. Yo, I'm a man. But that hurt. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. You just gotta come through and holler at me. Um, I guess I can give my prediction. I think Gil gonna win. I hope he win because it's his show, and I want him. To, I want him to keep talking shit. So that's why I want him to win. Um, who, any sleepers? I mean, the dude who won the Guinness Book of World Records. He he a sleeper. Then he get thirty one shots in a row. So maybe he out there. He can do something. I seen Lexi shoot. They say she a real dope shooter. Um, so yo, I don't know. I will give the win though, cause this guy be seeing him putting in the work. I don't know who else putting in work, but I seen him putting in his work. I know he's shooting. He want to win. It's his show. Um, it's his name. He got to win the first one. 
Cameron, he coming out there. It's, it's, hey, tomorrow, Gilbert Arenas, um, Gears Arena, Gears Shootout. Hold on, let me put that picture up there again. Gears Shootout, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Woo woo. Anyway, like I said, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at me. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist man, the folk. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. So I wore my bullets hat for the shootout. Y'all don't mess with me, man. Anyway, holler at your boy. Heist man, the folk. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.